Griffin in one attempt on the hardest difficulty and we took his head off and there's his body and um, get the camera angle on this you can't really see it but there's the head on the side of the horse and we're going to take the head back to the North Guardians now because they've given us the contract to kill the Griffin and in return our reward is the guy's going to tell us where Yennefer went um, because he was the last one to see her in this town so we're going to head back to the North Guardians give them the Griffin head and see where we can go from there Alright then guys, here we are, back at the North Guardian garrison. Let's head up these stairs, go through the door, and speak to the guy. See what he's got to tell us. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never know. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with an out. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Um, no more Captain Nice Guy, or I killed the Griffin. Um, you know, that's none of my business. They're probably going to execute the guy because he had the, the, the rice, the rye, was rotten. But I, I'm here to retain the Griffin. That's all I care for. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Alright, so we got some bonus gold. So, dialogue, time constrained options. Some dialogues demand you make a quick decision. Choose your reply before the time runs out. So, this is the tutorial to how this system works, this mechanic. So we have an um, timer to take the coin. Or take Why would we turn down the coin? He's offering coin in our face. Why would you say no? That's not a quick this, like, a decision that I need to make quick. That's going to take me time to make. Take the coin. <laughs> Easy. Oh, we level up as well. And we've got three points available. Actually, guys, I haven't shown you the, um, the character development screen. The uh, attributes and all that. I have spent, I have got some points from doing side quests and stuff, and there's these places called points of power where they give you talent points. And I spent five of them in quick attacks, because I think quick attacks are a lot better than um, strong attacks, because strong attacks take longer to do, and they are, although they do more damage, you know, you're more guaranteed to hit the enemy with a fast attack. So I've, I'm, I'm going with the fast attack route, and you can go down the tree like this then with fast attacks. Like these are all um, strong attacks, they're more defensive stuff. That's marksmanship stuff. And there's battle trance. And then you've got different trees as well. You've got a science tree. Because that was, that was a combat tree. You've got the science one. You've got alchemy. Then you've got general. And general is just one-off points you spend to get like a, a, um, like a buff type thing. And I've only spent one of them. And I spent it on suns and stars. And during the day, you regenerate health out of combat. And then at night, you get regenerate stamina quicker. Um, during combat, so it's quite good. It's got different benefits depending on what time of day it is, and on this difficulty as well, because you want to save as much food as you can to get health back. It's good to have that regenerating health in the daytime. So we've got two more points to spend actually, and I want to focus on combat points for the moment. And we can't go any further unless we spend eight points in this row. So I need to spend three more points in this row to actually go down to more fast attack boosts. So I need to decide on what I'm going to go for. Alright guys, I've been looking through the tree and I think I may spend some points in defense. Although this only gives me um, deflecting arrows while parry parrying, which I don't often do. It gives you more adrenaline point gain. And also further down the line, each adrenaline point you get increases the chance of uh, instantly killing an enemy. So I'm going to go for this route. I'm going to go for like light attack, fast attacks I mean, and defense. So I'm going to put two points into this quickly. Although we're putting points in this actually, we can't actually equip it yet because to actually have this um, skill equipped, 
need to put it in one of these boxes and the other boxes are locked and I've used them two already. So for now, we just have to leave that there. It's not even being used, but eventually we will put it into um, one of the boxes. So let's continue the story now. So we need to prepare to leave um, White Orchid with Vesemir. Oh, we've got 150 crowns for that. That's quite good. So um, we're going to head back out now. We can jump on our horse and meet up with Vesemir again. I think he said he was going to go back to the inn. Alright, so now we know where um, Yennefer is. And apparently she wasn't even that far away. She was like a right day's ride away from what that guy told us. So we're going to meet up with Vesemir and make our way to find Yennefer. Yennefer is in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Um, when it's ta then it's time to go. Who are I don't care who they are, really. Time we were on our way. Mm -hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. Got a feeling that's not going to happen, though. Shit's going to go down. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, Oh my you god. Ah. Oh shit. Oh my, that's a bit brutal. Okay, we've interfered now, so we're the enemy. Okay. Recognize this medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? She got busted up there, didn't she? What the hell? Like witches steal youngins. That true. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, well, you're gonna die then. Neither are you. <laughs> Did they say? Why are people not afraid of witches? They all talk about how dangerous witches are, but they're not scared of them. What the hell? So before we start, I'm gonna switch the sign. Let's back up a bit. Um, we put the protective shield on. All right, let's go. It's quite dark in here, isn't it? Yeah. Way lost the shield already. Awesome. I'm gonna play it safe and try and step back and get the shield back on. This guy's dead. Keep backing up, going in and out. Because there's quite a few of them. Alright, let's get this guy in the corner. Oh my god, oh my god, they chopped his body in half. Holy crap. Okay, seeing Vesemir killed quite a few of them as well. <laughs> it's a bit excessive. You could have just stabbed him in the heart, really. But no, you've got to separate his limbs. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! <laughs> See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that seemed from like a brawl in the bar to like... Us just murdering people. That, that's quite bad. I can see why they don't want us there. That brawl? We didn't start it. It wasn't a brawl. <laughs> it was a killing spree. <laughs> oh, there's like Yennefer. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Yen? How? I received a report. 
about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. All right. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom, even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Alright then, so the Emperor wants to speak with us. So I suppose I can hear him out. Wonder what he offered you. Alright, so let's see what he offered her. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Alright, so that's goodbye to Vesemir. Hopefully he'll come back again because he's quite cool. I like him. Bye bye. Thanks for killing that griffin with me. <laughs> A little bit of a texture popping there. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning, but then. But then. Hmm. Is this real? Is this kind of what happened in the dream, isn't it? All these guys. The dark ones. I think they call it all the black ones. Oh, he's dead. He's not the captain from the garrison. He's dead then as well, isn't he? Their horses look so badass. They've got armor on the faces and all sorts. Oh, she's charging up her power. Cool. What the hell? You almost got me in that. <laughs> the horses can't jump. It wasn't even that big a gap, was it? How big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Right then. So it looks like we arrived at the castle, anyway. We made it safely. Oh, somewhat. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. 
So it's a day later. He's getting what he likes. Loaded ladies robbing him. <laughs> oh, hello. Has he not got a penis? So we're getting the emperor treatment. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. So we've seen Geralt naked twice now. By his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Bergère. What? How wet he is. We <laughs> shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. I like his beard though. Something wrong with my beard. Yeah, I want to see what he's got to say. <laughs> What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Is he wearing makeup? Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Him. Is this what happened in the previous games? Because I don't know. I killed Arian during the siege, just happened that way. I have no idea. Can I just make it up? Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to you? An assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam. And from there, made your way to Vergen. My question is how? How? Got out of Flotsam at Vernon Roach. I joined L Loveth. He helped me. Uh, whatever. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes. And A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Had to save Triss. I know who Triss is. The red-haired lady. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Does it matter? Does this really matter? Like, is this going to have a big effect on what happens in the story? Or, you know, what? The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. I don't know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. Sheila escaped. God was coming to her. I'm, I'm gonna say she escaped. Because... Makes it more interesting, I guess. 
I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. So the Alliance is dead. See, I killed Letho. The Alliance is still alive. What happened to Letho? That one's more open. Because, like, you know, it's questions. That an ongoing Alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et here, um, here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. He's quite flamboyant, isn't he? <laughs> Fabulous! Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Any color, as long as it's black. Where's my clothes? Um, where's my clothes? Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Alright then guys, we've got three outfits in front of us, we've got to choose one so we can look presentable in front of the Emperor, and we shall do that in the next video. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!